consider this. You are a sexually active teen inside of a conservative household. You can't tell your parents, and it can lead to an unwanted pregnancy. Hello, my name is JC Paulson, and today I'll be talking about whether or not teens should be allowed to have access to contraceptives without the consent of parents. I have done extensive research as to whether they should be accessible to teens. My mother actually owns a clinic and uh, is a nurse practitioner herself, and so I do know the steps that teenage girls have to, to go through to uh, gain it. Um, therefore, I've done extensive research on the matter, and it can sometimes beg the question, do parents have the right to know that a contraceptive drugs or devices have been prescribed for their adolescent children? Before I get into the speech, I would like to discuss the history of birth control. Birth control and contraceptives have been around for thousands of years. The earliest known recordings of birth control methods state to ancient mesothelium around 1850 BC. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans have all had various forms of birth control. Thankfully, today's modern women have a chance to take advantage of a safer, more reliable contraceptive. While this is great, the argument of whether teens should be allowed to have contra or allowed to access contraceptives without parents' knowledge can affect millions of people. Many people like to make the argument that by allowing teens to have access to birth control, it encourages them to be sexually active. The Department of Health and Human Services has proposed a regulation that would require that parents be notified when minors treated in federally financed facilities receive prescription contraceptives. It has generated angry debate over such fundamental and sensitive questions concerning the rights of parents and those children and the role of government out to play in the way families deal with sexual, the sexuality of their children. Many people don't like that the government is so involved in their lives and knowing what's happening. Um, with access to contraception currently such a political hot topic, it's important to be aware of the facts which can influence the degree to which we afford teens the privacy they are legally entitled to. According to the Center of Reproductive um, Research, um, research shows that requiring minors to tell a parent before they can access contraception delays or prevents them from seeking reproductive health services, but it does not reduce their sexual activity when teenagers do not seek reproductive services. They forgo not only contraceptive services, but they are also denying testing and treatment for sexually transmitted diseases. Routine gynecology exams and other vital health care services are taken out of the question. Consequently, the nation's medical and public health organizations consistently oppose forced parental involvement in minors' efforts to seek contraception. In fact, according to ACLU and U.S. pharmacists, 47% of teenage girls said that they would stop accessing all medical reproductive services if they had to tell their parents. This can lead to unwanted pregnancies and STDs. These unwanted pregnancies can also result in more abortions nationwide. Another 12% said that they would delay treatment if they got HIV or any other STD. Therefore, altogether, 59% of sexually active teens said that they would stop or delay critical health care services, yet 99% of those teens said that, said that they would not stop having sex. According to Guttmacher Institute, 33 states allow for minors to attain birth control without the consent of parents. But what about the other 17 states? Every year, 3 million U.S. teens contract a sexually transmitted disease. They are left untreated and undetected and can have, undetected and can have lifelong consequences. Close to 900,000 teens get pregnant every year as well. Four out of those 10 girls are under the age of 20. Another issue that people like to point out is that putting teens on birth control can come with many side effects such as headaches, rising blood pressure, blood pressure nausea, and bloating. 
but according to the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, uh, the effects of continuously raised est estrogen levels in the female body due to taking birth control may include the risk of breast cancer, blood clotting, migraines, liver problems, etc. Um, while this is true, it's important to remember that birth control will stop unwanted pregnancies and ultimately less abortions. On the topic of abortion, abortion is a hot topic in the United States today and most people would agree that by stopping it at the source, it would help everyone involved in the situation. The mother wouldn't, the mother and father wouldn't have to go through the stress of worrying about become a, becoming a parent at such a young age. Um, teenagers would be able to be teenagers instead of worrying about how they're gonna be able to raise a baby. Um, and right now I live in a high school setting and have many friends that are facing these challenges right now. Um, they don't want to tell their parents because they're scared of what, you know, they might say, but what they don't realize is that they're putting themselves at risk. Therefore, I believe that contraceptives should be attainable for those who need it most, especially teenage girls.